भक्ति तत्व विवेक इसलिए भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर इज द राइट मोस्ट रेस्पेक्टेबल वैष्णवाज आवर सोल ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू रेलिश एंड प्रोपेगेट द नेचर ऑफ शुद्ध भक्ति एंड टू लॉर्ड हरि therefore our foremost duty 
is to understand the two nature of Shuddha Bhakti. This understanding will benefit us in two ways. Knowing the true nature of Shuddha Bhakti will dispel our ignorance concerning topic of the Bhakti and thus make our human life successful by allowing us to release the nature derived from engaging in Sukha Bhakti in its pure form. And secondly, it will enable us to protect ourselves from the polluted and mixed conception which currently exists in the name of Sukha Bhakti. We have seen that so many and disciples of Swamiji. Lacking of good association, bona fide Vaishnava association. They thought like this, this mixed bhakti, this thought, that it is pure bhakti. Thus, some of them are propagating mayavad. That if there is bhed and abhed both, if what bhed, difference and now not difference, achint and consummate then. Jiva Goswami and all our Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he took sannyas from uh, Kesavhat, sannyas, not name and things. Also, Madhvachaya took sannyas from any Mayabadi sannyas. Sarup Damodar was in line of that. They think there is no harm that we are taking the philosophy of Sankaracharya and Bodhism. We are taking this and telling frankly now. So many, not so many, uh, some of them. Only taking of association. So we should know what is Mayavad? What is mixed bhakti or bhakti? We should know karma mishra, jnan mishra, tapa mishra, all these things we should try to know. And then we can make Suddha bhakti, otherwise not. Unfortunately, in present day society, in the name of Suddha Bhakti, various types of mixed devotion, such as Karma Mishra. I told what is Karma, what is Gyan, what is Shuk, and also I told, what is Karma Mishra? Karma Mishra are of also two kinds. Where Karma is some prominent and somewhere Bhakti is prominent. Karma Pradhan, Bhakti and Bhakti Pradhan, Karma. Bhakti Pradhan Karma is somewhat better than that. They have chance that they can be rectified. Similarly, what is karma? What is karma? What is karma? All activities that are meant for the sense, senses, satisfaction of the person. 
creative excellence. The fruit. I am doer of that work of karma. And the fruit I will taste. Then it will be karma. When I'm thinking that I'm also Brahma, but now, anyhow, I have been covered with Maya, and when Maya will go, I will be Brahma. I am Brahma, still now at that time. And they think that world is Mithya. Oh. And they want salvation, mixing in Brahman. This is Gyan. And Gyan Mishra Bhakti, they are chanting name of 24 hours, day and night, no sleep in night. And chanting Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. They will never tell Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Or something. Their Swachidananda Bhagavan, Sat means, Chit means, Gyan, Satchiti, Ananda. There are not three things, only one thing. There is no misery, nothing. Only Ananda, Ananda. But what is that Ananda? Zero. So, this is Gyan. And Gyan Vishya Bhakti, they are chanting, remembering, worshipping also Krishna, Radha also. All they are doing, only for salvation, mixing in Brahma. These are Gyan Pradhan. No, they know that by easily they can have salvation. They can mix in Brahma. Very easily by chanting name. Because Kalju is Jugudharma. So by easily, what by stories of lakhs and lakhs birth, and only in some day, by chanting Krishna, they will emerge in Brahma. So why not adopting this method? So they are adopting method to reach their goal that is Sajjana. This is Gyan Pradhan and Bhakti Pradhan Gyan Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati, Nakamchati, Samasaravesh, Bhuteshu, Madhbhaktin, Lavate, Param. They have not offended Srimad Bhagavad, not any devotees. Brahma Bhuta, the six virtues <coughs> that Atma has no birth and death, no sorrow and suffering. These are all for body and two more. Abhat Pakma, Vijaro, Vishapo, Vijidhato, all these have in this. Brahmabhuta, Prasannatma, always have it. Always have it. If any problem comes, oh, it is for you, not for us. <laughs> not wanting anything, worldly desires. <coughs> and they are equal to all. These virtues are there. But there are also some consideration for Bhagavatam, Gita, Sambhavati. Not offending. Then, if by love, 
they have an association of pure bhakta. Like Sanakshan Dalsanatan, they have so much faith in his father and by their association. Oh, at once he gave up all these things. Sukhdev Goswami was also like somewhat like this. First, there are two Sukhdev In other Purans, Sukadeva Goswami, who went to Janakpuri there, and he took some initiation, like initiation or instruction from Janak. He was not the same. So, this was the son of Bhyas. He at once went to forest and Vyasa strictly called him and he read Srimad Bhagavatam with Vyasa, his second. Then another who went to Janakpuri, it is told in other Jews. Kalpa. In this Kalpa, this Sukhdev is another and another Kalpa before that. That Sukhdev was. Who came to Janakpuri and quite naked and he wanted to go enter in the palace of Maharaj Janak to have some teaching from him. But Janak told his Get, 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 get. There were about seven gates, one after another. So first gatekeeper he told that he should stop him for seven days there. Don't tell him to take anything. No reception, nothing. Don't allow him to sit anywhere, he can sit anywhere. And the seven day we are there. After that, he entered in second. There also three days he was checked. No honor, nothing. Thus checking, checking, checking. When he get, came on the last gate, oh, so many young ladies, very beautiful. So many, with garland, with so many things. And they received him with the dance and kirtan. But he was like a sukha wala dry wood, nothing. They were three days taking Sukadeva Goswami, dancing and singing, but no effect. After that he was sent to the council of Maharaj. There, Narada Rishi was sitting and Janak was not on the throne but nearby. Nearby, near the lotus feet of Narada Rishi. When he went, at once all were stood up and they honored so the Maharaj Janak took Sukhdev Goswami and made, made him seated on one side of the throne and Narada was sitting on end of one end of it. And he went inside his palace and told his very, very beautiful wife too young and too beautiful, mother of Sita, you know, how beautiful. And he told that you should decorate yourself with 16 guns of Sringar. Sringar means? Decoration. And she became more and more beautiful. And then he 
brought her there and he told that you should sit in the middle. Meeting of Narad and Sukhdev. One side Narad and one side Sukhdev was standing naked and she came also decorated and she at once sat between them. Then Sukhdev Goswami nothing to do like trying to yeah. always remembering Brahma. And Nardarishi he saw the beautiful queen of Maharaja and he did pranam to her and he left the seat and he said, sat on the ground. So Sukhdev was one. Always. But anyhow, by the association of Vyasdev, uh, he was turned into a pure But we see that any Vaishnava had not turned to Mayavadi. Never he had become. Never. Raman was Mayabadi, Kumbhakarn was Mayabadi, Meghnath was Mayabadi. Also, this Hirnakashipu was the biggest Mayabadi. All the demons are Mayabadi. But some of them had been turned. But any voice now, never been turned to Mayavadi. Shankaracharya defeated so many learned persons but not any of Vaishnava. He defeated Bhagavad Gita, Karvi, some Dhanis, <coughs> some others, both his. But not any of Vaishnava. He made so many explanation of so many books but he wanted to write something about Srimad Bhagavatam Bhasya, but he was ordered that you should not touch. He went to Varans, he was coming to Vrindavan, but never he had heard that he came to Vrindavan. Never. Oh, you should be there. He wanted to go to Navadvi, but he was born. Mayabad, very dangerous thing. If it will come in any Vaishnava or Vaishnava or Bhakti will go and it will go up a little bit. So we should know that what is Mayabad and we should try to be very careful for Mayabad. Also, karma is very dangerous. But not harmful like Maya. The theory is that we should think I am not doer and tester of our God. So in the beginning, we should try to offer our fruits of all karmas to Narayana. But when a pure devotee, we will associate with any pure devotee, then we should know that we are eternal servant of Krishna. But not a um, comparison. We are eternal servant means like a son, like a friend in Vrindavan. He thinks that I'm, if I am servant of God, Krishna, then my everything is of Krishna. My body also. And if family person, then his wife, his children, his husband, his home, his everything is of So he is not master of anything and if he has something separate, 
then he is now silent. That is why Prahlad Maharaj has told first offer yourself and become him and then you should do everything. Then it will be bhakti, shamanam, kirtanam, vishnu, smart. Otherwise, you have not offered yourself, your body, your soul, your senses, your whole properties, your wife and your son. Oh, something I am doing and something among of all these things, I will give something. Very delicious food, any mind. Oh. <coughs> Gurudev, I am giving This is a very little part. I am donating Gurudev 10,000 of pound or dollars. It may be that it will be the very small part of his whole property. But giving, it means you are giving some little, not you have given yourself or something is with you. So only some fruits are given. So it is karma mission. And karma pradhan, karma prominent. Karma prominent. So we should try to know karma. And its fruits also be karma also, myself also, my karma, everything. Then everything will be done for us. Whatever you do, do for, for the help, or to please Krishna, or to benefit of Krishna and the devotees. Then it will be no karma. Very hard to do, easy to say, easy to say, but very hard. And if you are going, then oh, at once a liberation, at once, quickly. No delay of one second, liberation is there. No attachment then. Then having some honor for all these things and doing for Guru and Krishna. I remember that in my Brahmachari Jeevan, my Brahmachari life, uh, Gurudev was penniless person. He never went to fake anything, anything. What is really coming? Anyhow. Anyhow, passing the days, always chanting, remembering and preaching like this. So when we came, we saw that there is nothing to cook, nothing to do, anything. No vessels, no pots, nothing. No one single chair in mud. Nothing. What we will take in evening? In night, there was nothing. So, we thought that we should try to go to fake somewhere. So, uh, I never knew how to bake. I was like a police officer. So many servants were doing with me. And so many uh, police, uh, all sterile, always serving. So I never did so, but I used to go. And very morning at about six, on foot, five miles, six miles, ten miles, twelve miles, sometimes in rail, and very hardly whole day up to six to six, twelve hours, five rupees, six rupees. 5 rupees and 12 annas. 12 annas you know. 0.75. How to complete 6 rupees and then use to go to work. Anywhere, oh, can you give me some rice? And completing 5, so fraction and to 6 and he used. Guru Maharaj used to take. Oh, I have never had any amount for him, any money. And he used to give us inspirations. We have never ever need any pies in our pocket. Whatever he used to do for him. 
up till now i never thought that this is my and i should give this to this everything what i had for krishna and for you and that is why we are so much and sometimes i be for this how they are merciful to me that anything reading at once going so deep and may never any doubt never any doubt so we should all try to be like that if you are a householder mahaprabhu has allowed something concession that you can have something for the maintenance of your life. But brahmacharis, no. Those who are brahmacharis are mathabhasa. Always engaged in these things. Then we can realize all these things. Otherwise. In Grihastha also, we speak love Pandavas. Like Srinivasacharya. Like Rairamananda. Oh. <coughs> and you will feel that oh, very easily we are advanced. Unfortunately, present day, in present day society in the name of Sutta Bhakti, various types of mixed devotion such as Karma Mishra, Mixed with fruitive action, Gyan, Misra, mixed with exploitative knowledge, and Yoga Misra, what is Yoga? Now that Yoga is not like Gita. Yoga means what? Plus. Union. There must be two things. One soul and one Krishna God. And if you are added, connect, eh? connected, how they will be connected? With Bhakti. Then this is called Bhakti Yoga. When Karma Yoga, when all, all karmas, all activities will be added to Krishna, then it will be karma job. You are giving, you are doing so many things and this four fruits you are giving to Krishna, then it is karma job. But when you are becoming of your Gurudev and totally surrendered, then all your karmas, all the fruits are of Krishna. This is bhakti, pure bhakti. Not karma yoga. But when you are only adding something to Krishna, for Krishna and something for you, then it will be karma yoga, offering your fruitive karmas and fruits. Bhakti from your side. Yeah. Right? Patram, Pushpam, Palamatoyam, Jatkarosi, Jadasnasi, Jatyagumasi, Jatkam, Tapasya, Kaunteya, Like this. This is Karma Vishra. Dhru was of this Karma Vishra. Karma Vishra. Pralat Maharaj was? But he is not like this. He was Sutta Bhakta. But he is, he is called Gyani Bhakta. Not Karma Vishnu, Gyan Vishnu Bhakta. Not like this. Yoga Mishra. Yoga Mishra means? By uh, some dumb 
नियम आसन प्राणायाम ध्यान धारणा वानुस्मृति दैट इज पापंज बेसी जो नो नीड ऑफ ईश्वर नो नीड दे डोंट डिनाय and sometimes they accept ishwar but what is ishwar or all the fruitin um, all the fruits of karma now have become ishwar and by this ishwar sukh and dukh happiness and is we are controlled by that and that is called apurva the fruits of all karmas are apur and heat is what and according to our thoughts we are having so much birth death suffering sorrow sometimes happiness and all <coughs> but really this is not go in gita uh yogina no gita it has been told yogi ra so
They think that we are public. They may be public, some of them, but not all. But they think that we are Supreme. But by associating them or taking month from them, zero will come. Nothing. So, Kibab, Vipra, Kivan, Nashi Sutra Kenunoy, J. Krishna Tatta Vipra. Anyone knowing all these things, whether he can be Sutra, very wretched class of person. Any class, Jati, he can be Hapsi of Africa, he can be scheduled class of India, or anyone like Vidu or anyone, but he is. The polluted and mixed concepts are our greatest enemies. Some people say that there is no value in bhakti, that God is an imaginary sentiment only. So many. God is nothing. Only, only a sentiment that God Vivekananda in our country, all he is thought to be a very high class of a realized soul, but he is in that order. Sentiment. We prefer to play football than to read to Gita. To read Gita or going and worshipping in it. So these are all in it. The man has merely created the image of God in his imagination. So God is nothing. Like Buddha, how he became like this? His father, mother had so much belief in God. They were used to worship God. And he was in a chapti of family. Chapti, you know? But he went to once when he was of sixteen years of age, princess of prince, he told that I want to go to see my village or my kingdom anywhere. The king knew that he is very soft. Hearted person. He told his uh, minister, minister that you should take him with you and you can go and show his making. So uh, they were in a very good like chariot and they were. When he came from his palace, anywhere a baby has taken the uh, birth and he was kyon, 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 he was baby. So much. What is this? Why is he weeping? Oh, he has taken just birth and he is so thankful way. He had just come out from his mother home and so is so much. Went on and then he saw that there some where boys were playing football and all other things. What were they? All oh, the same boy he has become like this and oh. like this. Then he saw that some band was going on and so many persons followed a palki wala palak pen and very decorated a boy was there of 24 years and a girl was with him 
What is this? Oh, now they have become matured in age and they have been married. After that, he saw an old man. Who is this? Oh, this same who was. No, no. Who took birth and that he became some bigger. And after that, he was married and now he has become old. No remedy. He will have to be. Oh, I will also be old like him. Oh, yes. And after that he went and he saw that four person were taking any one on a bamboo bed and telling Ram Ram Shakta Ram 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 <laughs> Ram Ram Shakta Ram Ram all this is not easy like this only suffering and sorrow and dying and death now only Ram Ram Krishna Ram is only true Lord and everything is God being gained in no because that what is this oh so many are crying and weeping and taking, what is this? Oh, this same boy who was married and who became old. Now he was seen that all were living and he has left his body. What is this? Oh, I want to return just now. Just now. Then he was dead. Yes. The Prime Minister told him, his father, he has returned just now and he is upset and in the midnight anyone could not see him where he has gone. He left his home, father, mother, everything and he went. What is reality? What is truth? What is all are all are in this place and suffering? So I saw. Being in trance and went to Gaya. Gaya, you know, the birthplace of Vishnu of Buddha. And there, in the people tree, said, and he said, If there is any God, he should come in my trance and he should tell me that what is truth. What is truth? I am saying that this, this body is not true because it was transferred to so many stages and this body went away. So it must not be true. Then what is to be anything in this, in him? What is that? <coughs> if God or soul is here, then it must be realized. So he sat for so many days. But nothing came. Nothing came. Then he told that, oh, God is zero, world is zero, from zero everything has come, and at last we will have to meet it in zero. Nothing, all this. Why it became? Last day, so, saw him in his trance, you know, he saw that. Purnam madha, purnam idam, purnata purnam buddhichyate, purnasya purnam eva. He saw the Purana Purusha, Krishna, with all his pure states. Nanda Vata, Sota, Srimati, Radhika, Dalita, Vishakha, Siddhar, Subal, and whole Vrindavan Dham, Rajamandam, he saw. And he saw that those who are forgetting Krishna, they are going down in this world. And those who are taking shelter of Gurudev, pure Bhakta, and taking shelter of Krishna, they are. <coughs> Again, not again, they are serving Krishna and they are going to Vrindavan for the And seeing this, he come, he manifested Srimad Bhagavad. Bhagavad was before him, this is prayer to, to <coughs> Narad, Dyas, Brahma, because not that. Brahma has realized this. Four shloki bhagavad. So, 
that eternal, this Gita and Bhagavat are eternal, not need new thing that that they composed it in letters, nothing. He a realized from Srinathar. Because he surrendered himself and he followed Bhakti Yoga, so Krishna came in his trunks, but he was not surrendered, so this Gautam Buddha not surrendered. So how Krishna will come? He will never come in lakhs and lakhs trunks. So never come and he thought. So this is called Sunneva. So he also thought that this is uh, what I am doing, it is all right. And now uh, from this Kivaladvait Bhad, the theory of Shankaracharya came. He, Shankaracharya is also in this line. Some part difference outward, not inward, no difference. So, it is very dangerous. He has told one thing, that these polluted and mixed conceptions are our greatest enemy. Some people say that there is no value in bhakti, God is an imaginary sentiment only, that man has merely created image of a God in his imagination. And the bhakti is just this is the state of consciousness which cannot benefit us in any way. But these persons telling like this, they are not our so <coughs> greatest enemy. Who is the enemy? Who are telling that we are devoted? But not truly fallen. The enemies from outside they cannot do anything so much harm. But the enemies of our home, they will do more harm. So they are enemies in our home, like rats in our home, always cutting claws here and there. But very, we can be very careful from tigers, bears. They cannot easily come to our home, our homes. But they are always living our home and cutting so many things. So, yeah. Bahar ke sattu, hamare aukna dek sattu nahi nahi. Outdoor enemy is not so great enemy, but he is. But, jo hamare andar ke sattu hai, wo hamare adik sattu hai. Kaun, jo ye kata hai, those who tell that we are bhakti. Sometimes doing like I have, but not. So he tells these types of people, though opposed to bhakti, cannot do much harm to us because we can easily recognize them and acquire them. But those who propagate that Bhagavad Bhakti is the highest dharma, yet behave against the principles of Shuddha Bhakti and also instruct others against the principles of Shuddha Bhakti can be especially harmful to us. What? What I do? You said that those who are preaching... Yeah, I mean, Those who are preaching uh, Mayavad philosophy, Buddhist philosophy, other types of uh, uh, philosophies opposed to Bhakti, and you can see them externally, that they're not so harmful as those who come in the dress of devotees, and they are posing like devotees, and they are preaching a philosophy that they presented to be Shuddha Bhakti. But actually, it is, it is not Shuddha Bhakti, and they're, they're actually cheating and misdirecting so many people, that those people, that they're the greatest enemies. No, Mayavadis are also not 
They are inside the people. No, because we can understand. My body is outside in it. We can recognize them easily. Because they are a dandy. They don't take tila. They don't take mala. They don't read Bhagavatam. They don't follow Bhakti Yoga. So we can recognize that as his Maya. But those who are taking tila, mala also. Hypocrites. Yes, hypocrites. <coughs> but the Mayavadis who have adopted Bhasti also, they are, they, are, they are difficult to recognize. It is more than hypocrites. It's more than hypocrites. Yes. Because hypocrite just says, I am something, but I am not something. It is very hard to recognize them. In this shape of voice now. Therefore, with great in power, our previous acharyas have defined the swaru or intrinsic nature of bhakti and have repeatedly cautioned us uh, to keep ourselves away from the polluted and mixed concepts. We shall deliver, deliberate on their instruction in sequence. They have Compiled, compiled numerous literatures to establish the Swaru of Bhakti, like Sri Krishna. Rupa Goswami has written so many books and he never dealt with all these things, karma, yoga, can Only Shuddha, Raganga, Bhakti, Swaru, Siddha, especially the Bhakti of things, especially. He has not quoted the arguments of Maya Vadi and all these things. He was so far away from this. But Jeet Goswami saw that now so many persons in the disguise of devotees and they are um, spreading all these things like plague. So he wanted to uh, make two sides so strong, strong like Ganges should go on and no pollution should come. That is why his all the books like Shak Sandarva, Sam Sarva Sampadi and other books are like Pakka Concrete wall. Concrete wall. So that is so can come. And Srila Bhakti Thakur and all other Kachachas have accepted and taken the essence of these things in Jaigodhar and so So there are three kinds of Bhakti. Sarusiddha Bhakti then Sangha Siddha Bhakti and Aro Siddha. Though it is very hard, not so hard, we think, but we should try to know. If you are not knowing, then your idea will be change of bhakti and you can be karmi, mayabadi and not Bhakti. So we should try to know also. And in evening and evening classes of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Especially, uh, we have 14 days here and today. I think that most of all the devotees will go also to be here. So, no hurry. In 14, 15 days, I want to speak the whole Srimad Bhagavatam brief. But I want to tell something most important things of Srimad Bhagavatam. I know that I have begun in Mathura Srimad Bhagavatam. Now it is 54 years I am there. But I could not uh, complete, complete one time even Srimad Bhagavatam. When I begin one chapter, 
even Brihad Bhagavata, it is like Srimad Bhagavata, explanation of Srimad Bhagavata. I never complete. Only one chapter, two chapters, in a year. And now I am going to whole world. Now I have not, no time. I wanted to repeat all this. But I will try to speak on some pastimes of Krishna, especially in Krishna. But I will touch all the important pastimes of whole Srimad Bhagavatam from beginning to end. But I know that I could not, I cannot complete. But anyhow, I will try. And new, new, some things you taste. And you will really, if you are hearing all this, say very patiently, you will know that what is bhakti and how we should do bhakti. Your bhakti and especially of Prajna. Go
and they were questioning to Sutta. They were to Sutta Kursa. They are two Sutta. One long version and other is Ucchai Shava, Ugra Shava. One was the cycle of Vyas, Lomaharsha. When he used to uh, explain all the Puran and Itihas, that is Ramayana Mahabharata and Puran. His heart is used to be melted. And that is why long this hair used to be a standing light, past Shakti Dika. But he was killed by whom? Baldev Musa. He was so uh, high class of Rishi like, and disciple of himself, Vedab Vyash. But he was killed. He was like a guru. Why, why he was killed by Baldev Prabhu? When Baldev Prabhu travelling everywhere, when Koros or Pandavas were quarrelling and big battle of Kurukshetra was going on and he, he saw that Krishna wants it and he wants to help Pandava not to Kauravas and he thinks that he always thought that Dhrujodhan is my disciple so he left and he began to travel all India, especially to the Tirths. To touch the Tirths, to make them more powerful. Because he was there. So when he reached Namisharan, he saw that oh, Sut Goswami, Dom Harshan, the shadow of Vyas, very prominent. And he was reading Purans. When he reached there, he could not get up and could not swagat nahi kar saka. If Guru or any higher class of devotees comes, we should try to stand up and to greet him and to do welcome. When he is coming, we should go some force there and then doing pranam, we should welcome him. Give him to see with seat words and then we can do it. But he was thinking, I am disciple of Vyas Dev and I am so high class of devotees. All are hearing me. So there was a false ego in him. I am so happy. And he thought that Baldev Prabhu is like householder person. Because at that time he was in Dwarka and he has married Revati and Baru. So his thought. He has some, so much honor for Krishna, but not for Baldev. Not thinking, realizing. So he did not stood up. Also, there were so many rishis there in 88,000 of rishis. So high class of devotees. And he thought that like disciples all are hearing me. 
So sometimes she has that able that I am more superior than. A katha bajak, a harikatha telling person, sitting on the vasasana, he should know all these things he should know. How to respect. So he could not do like this. He thought a gen, common person. So he not welcome and he become furious. Why? Because he is himself Krishna. Especially in the uh, way of Guru. He acts always like Guru. Sometimes punishing, sometimes teaching, sometimes doing all these things. He has plow in his hand. For what thing? To give seed in the heart of devotee. First he will plow and make it very fertile and then he will give the other seed. And he has a mota danda, musab, musab, by which club nare godana. Musab is a pestle. Musab is a pestle. Pestle. And he has kept it. If any wild elephant or any will come, that he will punish. Both things. Plow is referring to brain. And this a weapon to chastise. Eh? Bob. Guru should be like this. But he was like so. And he cut his head by his only by doing so. You are not qualified to be a guru. A guru should be realized. Always doing bhajan and giving proper honor to all the devotees, having so much prem in Krishna. Like Maddham Adhikari. And he should have so much kripa, mercy to others beginners. And he should avoid those who are opposite. But he was not following. So he quickly did it and he was dead. So if anyone is not doing so, being a guru or Vaishnava, then it's a very big offense. Aldeya Prabhu is punishing. Anyone. So you should try to follow this. Nowadays I am seeing so many so-called gurus not welcoming, not giving proper respect. What to tell, speak of this? They neglect him, any devotees, and they do opposite. So, you should try to know all these things and behave them with honor. You should try to learn Trina Dabi Sunichi Taro Rapi Sai If there is a guru but any qualified person more than him comes, at once he should try to. If he is doing archan even in the in the altar or temple, he must come on and he should respect his guru. Or the Vaishnavas like him are more superior. And if equal rank, he will. When I am coming, <laughs> like this. And he will tell, oh, you should see. I am waiting. So we should try to follow all this. So he cut down. We know so many gurus. Here first we will speak of we will speak about Narada Goswami and Vyas. There are so many kinds of Guru. 
We have heard of the Guru Aruni and Uddhal. Uddhal Aruni Upa Upaman. Aruni was a Brahmin and he was very beautiful and he wanted to read and know all the Vedas Upanishads and he came to his Guru. He told that you should be at least 12 years being Brahmacharya and serving here and he was there. One day the wife of his Guru no. He himself told that today is a rainy day, very cold days, and so much rain. You should at once go to the field and repair the dikes. Dikes. The dikes. So that water should not go away, otherwise, paddy will not be given. He went in the night and whole night he was repairing, but he could not do it. He was giving mud, so much mud, but as the current was so strong, strong that it used to take away. Then he slept there. By his body he was checking, stopping the water. And water is so cold. Raining, that he became like wood. Only some sense was there in the mid time. Gurudev came searching him, Oh Aruni, where you are, where you are? He told me, Guruji, I am here. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I am lying down to check, to stop water. Then he went there and saw that he is about to die. He touched him and he became very energetic again and he took him and told, giving his hands on his head. Oh, all Ved, all Upanishad with meaning should come in your heart. And quickly everything was there. So Guru should be like that. And Shishya should be like that. Nowadays, so many students, so many disciples with Gurudev, and when he will order him very any anything, very hard, very difficult for him, they will at once give up the ashram quickly. Run. They want that, O oh Gurudev, why you made me guru, uh, me disciple if you cannot offer me or you can not give me, supply. supply me, my food, my clothing, my faring to go to India and coming to India and here and there. You should, if you are not saying that I am going to a very special Gurudev who can pay all these things and nourish and support. Why you did? So, you should not be like that. <laughs> also, there is a Guru, Upamanni, you know. Uh, he went to his Gurudev, that Gurudev, I want to read Vedas Upanishad and I want to know the real truths. Oh, you should be also twelve years of in like this. And you will have to graze my cows. He went to guess all, nothing, a B C D of Upanishad, nothing doing. Tell the years you should go on like that. In the meantime, you can fly away, no harm. But when you have fight in twelve years to me, then quickly I will do all these things. In the meantime, he was going, grazing cows. He saw that one day. He asked the boy, Opamanyu, you are so energetic and you are so healthy, what you are taking? He told that, 
when all the cops are satisfied with the, with milk of their mothers, then remaining something I took, take, and thus I go. Oh, I have not told you to do so. Don't do like this. Otherwise you are thief. <coughs> Correct yourself. Then he left this and going. After some months he saw that he is still so strong. He asked her, now what you are doing? How you are maintaining your life? Oh, when the cops taking their mother's milk and they sit down, uh, cows, and when they are doing chewing, some foam comes. And I used to take from and I did. Don't do, don't do, I have not told you to do, go on crazy, but don't do this. Then he was so hungry, one day he was thinking what to do. He saw that there are some leaves very fat, having so thick and having some like milk, if they are and it is called Pakama in India, in Sanskrit also. But it is so poisonous that if, uh, if any bunda uh, or anything will come in eyes, they will advance. So he was taking this because he was so to maintain it. Not telling Gurudev, you should give me something, otherwise I will give up you. He had not initiated this step. He was looking and testing. And thus, he was grazing the cows, but his eyes were hurt, and he fell down in a well. It became evening, and it was going to be night. Cows were in the said of Rishi, his master. And he saw that, oh, today Manu has not reached even where his cows has come. And he was searching, oh, Manu, who are, where, where, where? And from well he told, Guruji, I am here. What are you doing in the well? Oh, I fell down. Why you fell down? I took a one, and thus it came in my eyes. I became blind. So I could not return. Oh, and he went there and he took him out of the bed and told, what I have obeyed, how I have told him, you have obeyed me and serving me. Now you are qualified. Eh, qualified. And he gave his hand and told that all Brahma Vidyas and all Vedic knowledge should come and at once. Also, Rup Goswami, Jeeva Goswami, Jeeva Goswami was disciple of Rup Goswami. Also, there are so many, like Raghunath, disciple of uh, Sarup Damodha, Shikshagra, Chaitanya Mahapur gave him. How he was serving his Gurudev? He was not telling Gurudev, you should supply me uh, Jagannath Prasadam, Luchi Puri, Halua, Manbhog and all these things. So test for sweets, never. Day and night chanting, remembering and serving. What Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Asarup Tamadrata. And very soon he began to be always Ashta Sattvik Dika. I think that this disciple is more better, more superior than Upamanyu and Aruni. Then he knew Vedas, Vedic knowledge. But the essence of Ved is Srimad Bhagavatam, our Rasa, our Bhakti. And among Bhakti, Gopi Bhakti is more. 
Raghunath was serving the Gurudev attentively these things. But how? Left everything, his home, like kingdom, beautiful wife like angels, more than angels. And so each person left his everything and became Karunaki Ganesha Bhav. Tattvama Nam Asesh Mandal Patim Shedim Sada Tukshvat Bhutva Dina Ganesha Bhav Karunaya Kofi Nikantha Shita Bhav. The left of Rup Sanatana, Raghunath Das Pursan. Mandal Patim Shredi, what is Mandal Shredi? By how appellants like so much emperor. Wives, children, father, mother, everything for Krishna consciousness. And became Dina Ganesha Bhav. Dina Ganesha Bhav. Very humble and very akincha, having nothing. Dina Ganesha Kau, Karunaya Kopina Kanthasitau, and only door and coffin was there. Nothing. And thus, doing all the chanting, remember. In the ocean of rush, of three pastimes of Krishna all day. So we should try to be like that, Rupa Ravunath and all others, if you want to have being like this. Without serving Gurudev, we cannot be like this. Don't try to cheat Gurudev. But Gurudev should be also so qualified, not so called Guru, and Shish also not so called disciple. No harm you are living in family life. No harm. You can develop your Krishna. So here, first of all, Sutta Goswami is telling, first he told, Shabai Kunshan Paro Dharmo Jato Bhakti Rathok Shaje Ahe Tukya Pratikata Jyatma Sam Prasidati He has asked Kunshan Ekantata Shreyas Tanno Sansutam Arhasi Gruhi Na Shaddhananam Jenatma Sam Prasidati All the reasons were asking Sutta Goswami you know all the Veda, Upanishada, all the Puran, Itihas. You are disciple of Vyasadev. So, you should try to give essence of all, how with all the Jivas, especially in Kalju. Shreya, Shreya means? Benefited. How? Now, Kali Kali is very, very, Dangerous, very dangerous. Uh, perhaps you are realizing these are not, I am not. But those they will realize quickly, they will be what? Detached with them. And those who are not realizing this, oh, I will give up all these things too much. After tomorrow, after one year, when my wife will die, or when my husband will die, when I will be old, never you will be old. In the meantime, if you die, then what? So, at once do what you want to do just now. So he is telling that you should tell me how we can be what? Benefited. benefited in this life, so that our <coughs> life will be successful. And then he told him, tell him, Shabai Punsan, Paro Dharma Jato Bhakti Radhokka Je Ahetukya Bhavita Jayatma Sampraseti. Only there is only way. 
What that is? Bhakti. To whom? To whom? Purushottam. Who is Purushottam? Krishna Stu Bhagavan Shri. So Bhakti in the lotus feet of Krishna. But it should be a hai to ki causeless and a spontaneous and by this Atma will be pleased, happy. What Atma? There are two kinds of Atma. atma. One Atma, Paramatma and another is his his part and person. That is Atma. So, so if Krishna is pleased, then our Atma will be pleased. And if you are not pleasing him by this Bhakti, continuous and without any reason, then and vadanti tattva vidas tattam yajvyam adhyam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagwaniti shaptati He told that. Vadanti tattva vidas, those who are qualified in tattva, established truths, they told that. Advaya jnana is paramatattva. Who is advaya jnana? Krishna is himself. How? How is Jatva? There is no second to Krishna. No another Bhagavan. Shankara and all others are not Bhagavan. Brahma is not Bhagavan. They are part and person of Krishna. So only Krishna is Advaya Jnana Paratattva. But how we are seeing so many persons and so many worlds and so many things? Oh, it has come by his own power. That is Swarup Shakti. Swarup Shakti becomes or works like three ways. Swarup Shakti, Bhairanga Shakti and Jiva Shakti. From Jiva Shakti we have come. So. And from Swarup Shakti all Vaikuns and all others there. And by Maya Shakti all has come. So only from Krishna all these are. So all including is Bhagavan. So if you are doing bhakti to him, your life will be successful, otherwise not. So Srimantanu Swakata Krishna Punya Shavana Kirtana Hidanta Stohiya Patrani Vidhuno Sohit Sadam. If you will hear the powerful and very sweet Harikatha pastimes of Krishna. Only by hearing and hearing, nothing to practice. Parikshit Maharaj never practiced anything because after seven days he passed. He went down. So he knew. Only by hearing. What? Krishna will come by through his, these years here. And he will clear all these things and make a seat forever here. And after that, Vidhunos. Nasta prayeshu avadreshu. If there is any anartha there, he will clear all the anarths. And then nityam bhagavat sevaya. Sadhana bhakti, here sadhana bhakti. Then will come bhava bhakti. And then bhava bhakti will come, then bhakti will be nasty. Nasty means not coming lower. Staying in and gradually Chindante Sarvasanshaya Chyante Chasya Karmani Dhisht Evat Nishvare. If anyone will hear, see Krishna here, Vidyate Hridaya Granthi. Hridaya Granthi means the knot of Jeev and Maya. There is a knot. If you are trying yourself by your intelligence and senses, it will more be tightened. Like elephants in dal dal. Quick sense. If elephants are trying, going down, down, down. 
and if they will get up everything and lie down, anyone can come and take them out. So we should be like that. Surrender ourselves. And praying Krishna. Then all doubts will go away. Chyante chasya karmani. And what he has done in past life, so many karmas, its fruits will be. But good and bad, everything. And then the kavis had. Ata vai kavio nityam bhakti param maya muda vasudeva bhavati kurvanti atma prasidanam. So all the intelligent Vaishnavas devotees. So, try to develop that Krishna consciousness. In this human life, very quickly, other we can be die. If death comes, we cannot do anything. So, as soon as possible, we should try to. And telling this, he began to tell that. Once, they asked him, Dvapare, when Dapar came and it was going to be end in the last in the last uh, time of Dapar Shanu Prapte Titi Juga Parjaye Jata Parashara Yogi. Then from Parashar Bhas there came. And at that time he had done Vedas who came from Krishna himself by his nose. Nose of Karanapdisai Vishnu. Vedas come. Not really from Krishna. From Karanapdisai Vishnu. Vedas are coming. And it were, all were revealed in the heart of Brahma. But up to Dvapar, all became having no Brahmacharya. Not so much pure he, tooth and all other things. No pure air, no pure water. Nowadays in Ganges, in Jamuna, anyone cannot that water, drink water because so impure. Also, no good air, fresh air, which are essential for life. No brahmacharya. Even brahmacharis and sannyasi, it is very hard for them to maintain brahmacharya. So, they lost their memory. They had to invent something, then paper and pen to write. What is your name? My name is Urdhamanthi. What, what? Hmm? <laughs> then they will have some machine here. <laughs> what you told? Urdhamanthi. U, then what, what, what again? Urdhva. How, how to write? <laughs> then we discovered <laughs> this black thing. <laughs> to remember. But by the help, taking help, we lost our memory more. Because we will have to depend on them. Up till our time, serving Gurudev, all these conferences were not there. And we used to take all in this. So you can think that being an old, I myself, Remembering so much, thousands and thousands of slopes and so many things, at once replying so many things, you can. I have no help of black box. Never. So, that's thought. Nowadays, Kali is coming. Now, remembrance is going on. Dan, Satya, Tapa, Humility. All the qualities are going on. And now all are becoming bhogi. So
So he divided Vedas in four. Rik, Sam, Jaju, Atharva. And he met his disciples, Rik Vaved Pailam, Sam Jaimini, Atharva Ved Jaju Ved Vaishampayan, Atharva Ved Sumanta. And it has like Mahabharata and all the Quran, he taught to this truth, Lomahash, who was killed by Bhante. No, Ugrashava. And that time Bhante Prabhu cut the head of that and then all Rishi were weeping. What you have done? From where we will hear all Qurans? And then he told the yes, I'm managing. And he, his son, very little um, life, only five years, naked there. And he took that watch and he gave his hands. Everything, more than your father, all Vedas, Upanishadas, Itihas, Quran, everything should come out. And he at once remembered all things. And he uh, told that you should see it and you should. From five years, he began to recite all these things. So, a guru should be like Bhaktiv Prabhu. <laughs> right. So here, he did all these things. Uh, he also made Mahabharata for ladies who are not, we cannot, they cannot be always pure. Sometimes in month or they should have to be impure. And they cannot uh, remember all the Upanishad, all these things. Very hard for them. Because they are very soft hearted, very sweet. So for them and all other, those who are out of Varnasham Dharma, for them he made Mahabharata. And in Mahabharata he made a very Upanishad, like Gita Upanishad. After that he saw, saw that in Vedas and Upanishad there are so many things, though mantra, who are opposite to each other. And general person cannot reconcile all. Sometimes he has written Apanipado, Javana Grihita, Pasatta Chakshu, Sridhar Like this, that God, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, has no hands, he has no feet, nothing, no eyes, but he does all. And sometimes he has written that Ananda Mayam Brahma, Brahmija. And sometimes he has told that Nirguna, Brahmija Nirguna. Sometimes Nirguna. Sometimes he has told that Supreme Personality of God has, has some shape, some quality. And he is merciful. He has so and so. And sometimes he is telling Satyam, Gyanam, Anantam, Brahman. Only qualities are there. No shape, no attribute, nothing. Sometimes he is telling Parasha Shakti, Vividhai, Vasuyate. And sometimes he is telling that opposite thing that there are no attribute, no power, nothing. He is Aja, like this. How to reconcile all this? He was bound to make Brahma Sutra. No? <coughs> then, then he made Brahma Sutra. First Brahma Sutra is Athado Brahma What is Brahma? There were different ideas in Vedas and Upanishad. He wanted to reconcile all and to make a very Good Sutra. Sutra means? Contains form. Contains form. Janama Dash Jaka. This is the point. From whom all the world comes. Who supports all. And after, in the end, all enters in them. 
जतो वाइमानी भूतानी जायंते जीन जातानी जत जीवंती जत अभिशंती तत विज्ञान सतत करना हो सपोर्ट्स हो मेक्स एंड हो ही इज ब्रह्म एंड समटाइम्स सत्यम ज्ञानम ज्ञान इज मल्ली ब्रह्म देन हाउ टू रिकॉन्साइल सो ही मेड ऑफ शास्त्र जोनी इज द जोनी ऑफ शास्त्र इज द रूट कॉज ऑफ ऑल द शास्त्र आर शास्त्र ऑलवेज डिफाइन सो मेनी थिंग आनंद मयो नॉट आनंद वनली इज आनंद एंड आनंद मय बोथ बोथ एट ए टाइम हाउ फॉर दिस मेड टू आर्ट एंड एस्पेशली श्रीमद भाव बट Up till now, he had not done. He was thinking that earth, dharma, kam, moksha, everything I have done, but I'm not satisfied. Why I'm not satisfied? I'm not uh, happy. Something like what is like? He was thinking. And in the meantime, a Mahatma came. Who was he? <coughs> he was not. नारद ऋषि बजाय बीना विथ इट बीना ही कैन एंड ही वॉज सिंगिंग राधे जय जय कंजू लेटिंग सो लेट एडवांस All you can do. Oh, there you are. Go on, go on.
singing like so. Also, after this, Radhe Jaya Jaya. And he was so very fortunate. 